Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Stasma here. I'm back with a new short tips and tricks. This one's about the mix switch that I've already covered. It's also a little bit about another Clavis module that is the Granity granular filter. And uh, so you can go watch that video if you want. But uh, the concept of a granular filter is basically a combination of a multimode filter and a switch. The fact you can switch between the different filter types at audio rate makes that granularity happen. So I've came across the idea of simply using the mix switch, that is a four channel switch, if you want it to be, in conjunction with the angle grinder by Schlappi, because they just live next to each other in that case. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, let's try it. And so here we go. Let's start by sending a saw wave into the angle grinder output of the mix switch to the input of the wanted width, which is going to be our final output. So here I have only the low pass output going to this first input. I'm going to send all the other outputs of the angle grinder into it. Band pass mixed with the low pass. High pass. And inverted band pass. You can already make some funny stuff here by moving the cutoff frequency. makes it act more as a wave shaper than a filter. Sort of weird phasery wave shaping going on. But now, if I engage the switch behavior with the clock input, I could use another oscillator In that case, with the tree body, the cool stuff is that the oscillators can be ratios of the main one, the center one. I'm going to use the square wave. And here we go. So now what happens is that we are alternating between these at audio rate. It's easier to hear if we divide the clock. Now let's go back at audio rate. of pretty cool sounds in there. You can also use CV address, which means that it is controlled voltage that is going to 
decide of which of these inputs go to the output. The best for this to scan wind is to use a saw wave as well, because it's going to linearly choose between all the inputs. Hear that now we spend more time at the last output because this output's 10 volts and I don't remember what is the range of the mix switch input but it's probably 5 volts or something so let's attenuate it first this seems better find it pretty cool when you kind of find a nice beating pattern between the two, the function scanning through the inputs and the oscillator. function to modulate the cutoff. The pulsing function now to modulate the amplitude of the output VCA. So, if you have a sequential switch or addressable switch and a multi-mode filter, now is the time to granular filter. Have fun trying this. See you next time. Bye bye.
Thank <laughs> you. 